Hi, this is Harry Dent. On July 13th, 2010, this is the update we've been looking to put out for a long time, for many months. We've been looking for this bear market rally in stocks to top and to warn people the best place to not only sell stocks, but for more aggressive investors to actually short the stock market and bet against stocks. And we're seeing that now. In our last uh, YouTube update on, in May, we were looking for one more rally to new highs, but since then, uh, we broke some important support at 1,040 on the S&P 500 and uh, 9,780 on the Dow, which says something's wrong here. Uh, but we also warned in our newsletter after that break that we could see a bounce back towards uh, the highs in June, around 10,600, before we actually come down again. So we're seeing that now. There's some very important resistance on the market at, at what's called the 200-day moving average uh, on the Dow around uh, 10,380 to 400. On the S&P 500, a little higher, around 1110 to 12. And we've gotten very close to these numbers. We actually hit that number on the Dow uh, on, on Tuesday, July 13th. And we are probably going to hit some of these other numbers uh, on Wednesday or Thursday, the uh, 14th or 15th at the latest. Uh, again, we are telling people, and particularly our newsletter subscribers, that this is something you want to be a little head of. Uh, this market's been straight up since March of 2009. Our indicators have continued to tell us, our leading indicators in our newsletter have been saying that the economy is going to start failing by late this year, early next year, and consumer spending uh, is failing even more so. After the cash for clunkers expired last year, car sales fell immediately back down 35% to where they started. So without stimulus, it's proving this recovery is not sustainable. And the same thing happened with new home sales right after the uh, home buying incentive of $8,000 expired after late April. May sales and cents have been straight back down. So we're saying this is the time to get cautious. We expect a deeper crash uh, starting sometime in the second half of July. And we think the most dangerous time period is mid to late July into late August to mid-September. That is when our cycles most point down. That's when we get second quarter GDP reported on July 30th, not too far ahead. Uh, and we think that's likely to be disappointing. Economists are looking for that to be as good or better than the first quarter. And we think it's going to be worse and maybe very disappointing. Either way, it wouldn't take much to trigger a stock crash uh, with all the market rise, hoping that the recovery is going to be sustainable. We've said from the beginning this recovery would fail because baby boomers are moving into a saving stage in their lives instead of spending. You can't stimulate older people, particularly to buy homes and cars. Oh, they're still buying food and shopping at department stores and that sort of stuff. They're clearly not buying anything that has debt associated with it. And that's the second thing we've said from the beginning. Consumers financial institutions, businesses, government, state and locals, everybody is in more debt than they've ever been in the history of our country. Our total debt, when we add it all up, private debt at 42 trillion, government, state and local at 14 trillion and climbing towards 15 trillion, and the unfunded liabilities, which the government admits, 46 trillion for Social Security, Healthcare, Medicaid, Medicare. $102 trillion in debt. You can't just stimulate your way out of that. Businesses and consumers are paring down debt despite the stimulus. Now the stimulus is wearing off. We've also seen European countries quickly turn from stimulating to cutting expenses, raising taxes when their deficits got out of control and the financial markets started to call their bluff and raise interest rates. This could happen to the U.S. government in the months ahead and later this year. That's going to create a great bond buying opportunity. It is not time for that yet. We will look for that in the future in our newsletter and, and future comments. But now we're telling people between Dow 10,380 and Dow 10,600, it is time to sell stocks. Real estate should be sold in this time frame. We've been warning that forever. 
Uh, real estate is probably going to head back down again. It barely bounced later this year and certainly next year, and we expect this downturn to deepen. Now, for people who want to actually bet against the stock market, and again, we are not suggesting doing this with leverage or options or futures and that sort of stuff. Just simply bet on the stock market going down instead of going up. For example, in ETFs, electronic traded funds, you can buy like a stock, it's a whole index. You can buy the SPY if you're betting on the S&P 500 going up. If you're betting on it going down, you buy the SH. It's simply an inverse of the S&P 500 with no leverage. Uh, PSQ is, is a way to short the QQQ or the technology index with no leverage. If you want to take more leverage, the QID is two times the technology or QQQ index for more aggressive investors. Again, we do not recommend doing more than that. Markets are volatile enough. We think it is possible that the Dow could be at 81 to 8200 by the end of August. We think it's possible it could be back at the lows from March of 2009, 6440 uh, by sometime in late I mean September, December at the latest. And we think it's still likely we're going to break through those lows by the end of the year and, and end up as low as 3,400 to 3,800. Now, the crash may not be that extreme. This crash could play out over a longer time period. But our cycles and indicators suggest this market went straight up, just assuming that Fed stimulus was going to carry the day. And now it could go straight down when they realize all the king's horses, all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. That's what we see happening in the next few months, and we can reevaluate if we don't see a big crash. We're saying be safe now. Thanks for listening. And we are offering our free report on the debt crisis of late 2010 to late 2012. All you have to do is go to our link, www.hsdent.com slash debt report dash LP and you can get this report downloaded for free. It's a very thorough report, very updated, and it's something you can pass on to your friends, relatives, and business associates to warn them of this downturn. Thanks for listening again.